Yeah, me and Christopher. I took I, I took Christopher down to Gettysburg. It was his first time. I said, why don't you head down here? I'll show you something. Did you give him the tour? I gave him a pretty decent tour. It was, was nice. I was, you know, yeah. To be able to drive there without looking and then be like, this is the southern end of uh, Pickett's yeah. Charge. You and know then the land. across the field, I'd be like, that's where they went. Yeah. They went through this clearing of trees to try to get over there. Fuck. And then uh, we went up to Little Round Top. Mm-hmm. Which you may know from the famous movie Gettysburg, of course. Jeff Daniels and the Twentieth Maine, for sure. Jeff Daniels, that's where they charged. Play, yeah, I we know. were up there. Yeah. It was Dude, fucking yeah, sick. It was, it was, yeah, it's it was so really nice. Did they all die? No, they won. Did they? Yeah, yeah they're thinking glory. I, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just nodding my head, dude. <laughs> uh, glory? Did, oh, they all died in glory. Yeah. Glory, yeah. Yeah. They tried. Oh, to that's charge. what I was thinking of before. Yeah, the black guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Glory's the one where the cannonball hits that guy in the face. Oh, that's what. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't remember that in Gettysburg. Yeah, yeah. Took a cannonball to the face. Yeah, he's like, he's like, let's go, and he turns around, a cannonball just hits him, takes his head off. Mm. God, that fucking sucks. That was a good way to go compared to most deaths in that. True, cannonball off your head is nice. Yeah, true. Um, Yeah, we were looking at some of the uh, the the charges they have. The bullets were just like a case full of beads. Yeah, the, there's just fire thing, the artillery sprays everywhere. Oh, like the shrapnel spray just, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except it's just uh, it's like golf ball sized oh. balls of like metal, golf balls, just perfectly smooth. The canister shot is what it's called, and when they get within like 300 yards, it's so just. What was the objective of the Civil War? Was, was the South trying to get up to like the capital? Like, why were they? The South was north of the capital. We're in Gettysburg, man. They yeah, but I'm saying like if, if you're so it's a Civil War. They have a bunch of cannons and shit, like, pointing at you. It's like, all right, let's fucking walk around this shit and, like, try to come from the other side. They almost did that. What was well, the objective? All right, to destroy each other's army. Okay. Yeah. So the only way that gets done so is they weren't trying to get to a specific no, place. No, no, no. They just trying to break the spirit. Well, there were a couple of times were where they? they were like, we were going to try. So they were going to try to get the army out of D.C. Yeah. Try to lure the army of the Potomac out of D.C. so they could take it. But they were never going to be able to take D.C. They were like... Yeah. At that the the South was winning every battle up until Gettysburg. Yeah, and it was kind of like a war of attrition where the North was getting tired of it. The people in the North were like, "We got to stop this. We just keep getting our fucking dicks knocked in." So they were losing. The North was losing bad. What? Bad until Gettysburg. That was the turning point. That was the turning point. And then we were standing at the turning How the point. Fuck, were we losing? The turning point of the turning point, which was pretty sick. At, yeah. At the end of at at Little Round Top. How how the fuck were we losing? We were losing because uh, the North had a lot of inept generals uh, that were like they. Yeah, one of wasn't one of them like a drunk. No, that was pussy? Ulysses S. Grant. Yeah, was... He was a drunk and he was the best. <laughs> <laughs> he was our best guy because he was like, "Fuck it, we'll just throw people. At... We have more people than them. Yeah. So every battle, we can just fucking we can go person for person, and we'll end this thing in a war of attrition. Who was the um, dude who was like, "We just got to keep training. We're going to train." McClellan. More... Uh, okay. McClellan. Yeah. They all loved him. All the soldiers loved him. Right. Somehow, but yeah. he never fought. He was always afraid to fight. He was a big trainer. He just had his boys training nonstop. <laughs> and he always overestimated whatever the South had, like no matter what. Sure. And Lee, General, they had Lee the whole time. He was good. He was a beast. Yeah. He was Bill Belichick. He was the coach, dude. He was the genius. He was fucking everybody up. But at Gettysburg, so like you said, like why don't they walk around? Uh, every battle was defensive yeah. for the most point for the South. Usually the South would get somewhere, set up shop, and the North would come would, to them. Okay. And so they would just be dominating. So they would just come up and be like, we're in your state. Yeah, they'd, they'd be like, like what, what are you going to do about it? And we're like, you better get out of our state. <laughs> we're like, what are you going to do about it, dude? Uh, the f- where they have banners like, we love slaves. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> do yeah. No, they went the route of like, they would never mention slavery. Yeah. Ever. They never were like, hell yeah, slavery. So they, this is, we're like, this they is were like, this. this is about states' rights <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and death to tyrants. Yeah, because they were being because they were like the federal government was telling the state what to do. Yeah, which back then wasn't happening. So that that was a so the federal government won that one. The federal government was like, "Yo, you guys better fucking listen." Damn. And they did, and now they listen. Yeah, they won that one. Yeah, the federal government won. We were the federals. So they were the yeah. Confederates. They were anti-federal. Wow. The Confederates. So they're basically like, you can't tell us the federal government has no say in the states' rights. Yeah. The federal yeah, government. The, state, was like, the federal yeah. government was like. Well, yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pr- so they're like we'll kill more, we'll kill you guys. Yeah, until if you guys don't do this. They didn't, the North was hesitant. I think the South was the one who seceded. It was they like, did. They wanted the. Shit. They were like, and then the Union was like, you can't leave. We can't split this country in half. Yeah, you guys are staying. 
And they're like, we're leaving. And they're like, you're fucking staying. Come here. <laughs> so what, it wasn't we're as a family. Much, we're a fucking family. Now get over here. So in terms of the, in terms of the slavery thing, it, what, was it as much as slavery or no? Uh, yeah, it was about slavery. So the South tries to act like it wasn't. And yeah. they're like, it's about states' rights. It's about states' rights to, to own slaves. slaves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, we got to stop it. And people from the South will always be like, oh, the North was just trying to like cripple the South's economy by taking away slavery. It's like, why would they? They're in the same country. They're yeah. not trying to do that. Yeah. So stop well, That's that. contradictory to a lot of the stuff, too. And they're like, slaves aren't even that big of a deal anyway. People didn't even really have them. They didn't really. Uh, it'd be like, people didn't have them. Yeah. People didn't have them. You had them. Didn't have them. You probably. No, oh, no one's thinking probably you had them. You did have them? <laughs> Yo. Elon Musk. Oconis is what I was going to say. But. Uh, yeah, Elon Musk was in South Africa. Yeah, I was oh, thinking about that today. Whoa, I'm like, Elon whoa, Musk yeah. probably had Elon him. Musk was in South Africa? Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. Oh, he had him. He's like a billionaire South African. Oh, oh yeah. that's some blood diamonds down there. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah. a boer. He was a boer. Not a huge fan of the... Uh, yeah, I'm but, like uh, trying to think how he ma- how his family amassed their fortune. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if he was that <laughs> dude, rich. That's why he's working so hard to build robots. He's like, well, we can't have slaves anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I better get some fucking robots. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or my yeah. family's gonna have to work. All the AI, <laughs> all the AI is just shaped like black dudes. Yeah. He's like, what? This is the He's prototype. like, well, I just programmed its voice. It's like, yes, I'm mad. So he's like, that's something we're working on. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how robots talk. I was wa- <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I was watching it on the way up here. I'm like, this dude, because he is from like a super wealthy family, right? I don't know. He has to be. I don't think you become like a self-made yeah, rocket yeah, yeah. billionaire. There. Yeah, you don't. You don't just be like, yeah. oh, I guess I'll build a fucking rocket. Yeah, I know he a... was like bullied real bad. Like, really? People were beating the shit out of him a lot. I like when that. he was younger. Yeah, and, and then, then he wanted and to build he was a like, chapel. I'm going to America. Yeah, and he started like PayPal. So he was in South Africa when he was young. Oh yeah. Damn. Was he in Jayburg? Johann- Johannesburg? Oh, I thought you were saying something. Else. No, no. Johannesburg. Yeah. Damn, dude, chill. chill <laughs> I thought about chill, Johannesburg. Chill. He might have been. He built a chapel. He's trying to build a chapel. Come on, bro. <laughs> They're making fun of me, Brew. <laughs> you have to go to Mars, Brew. <laughs> uh, wait, I was on a roll, ahead, dude. On, I was fired up. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah. All right. So your your point was, why don't they just fucking go around them? Yeah, yeah. So that was what happened. So the South was usually fighting a defensive war. Okay. Then they got to Gettysburg. That was the only time they invaded the North. That was the only time they ever even got into the North. So it was a one and done. They were feeling they the were roads. Up, they were feeling. Good. They they were undefeated. Dude, they were fucking us up pretty much everywhere. Fuck. And then uh God, they must have been so annoying, like yeah, he, Exactly. They did the rebel yell yeah. so gay. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, dude, shut up. <laughs> uh but yeah, then Lee so his his right hand man, uh Stonewall Jackson got killed. Oh, fuck. Friendly fire. I'm like, dude, imagine him. killing the general at battle, Ugh. being the guy who fucking nails him, oh. and being like, that's a big win. Yeah, it'd be like, I got a guy, I shot him off a horse. Yeah, it's like kind of smoky. Yeah, yeah you're like, nice. yes, nailed him. Yeah. Nailed that Did you ever guy. play you paintball? That? You hit someone, it's so <laughs> satisfying. Yeah. You shot oh, the yeah. general, they're like, well, their general's dead now. I'll be like, fucking yes. <laughs> yeah, except it was you on your own team. You shot your own general. Oh, yeah. yeah who shot him? Fire. His own guy. His own guy shot him. Friendly fire? Yeah, he was evil. Well, it was kind of a double dumbass. agency. No, it was kind of a dumb fucking move. I think oh, he was doing fuck. like a. They night- kill that guy? Uh, I don't think. I really? think everyone was like, "You're gonna have to live with that one, dude. You just killed like the most famous Southern." General. You lost the war. Um, he <laughs> was on like a night ride, <laughs> like behind enemy line. Like he, he was kind of fucking dumb. Yeah. And uh, who Stonewall? Stonewall Jackson was kind of a fucking. St- Blockhead. <laughs> so he hit him and some other dude. If he cheddar bobbed himself, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so his boy it was him and his boy doing a night ride. Yeah, him and his boy were out kissing out in the woods, <laughs> and a Confederate rolled up on him. And was like, "Hey, god damn it, knock it off!" Shot him. Stop. That's what happened. They were he was Stonewall Jackson he was, was rock hard, dude. He was Stonewall. <laughs> that's, like that's why Stonewall. I call him. That. He was rock hard out there. So he he, he got shot him. accidentally. He got shot accidentally. It was friendly fire that killed him. How though? It was nighttime. He was riding up on a fucking guard post. Yeah, he was probably coming oh, back. Oh, shit. Wearing, riding a horse, yeah. And someone was just someone doing was their like, job. Yeah, someone was just yeah. being a guard from the south. Some fucking moron from, like, Virginia was just standing there. Who goes there? Yeah. Halt! God damn it, I said halt! I'll fire! <laughs> shit, I killed our general. <laughs> damn, I'm mad. At I'm, not, I'm not cut out for soldiering. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the outfits were the same, right, except for the color? The outfits, yeah, the outfits yeah, yeah, looked yeah. exactly like you know, yeah, on mean, all the night. statues. It's like I can't, yeah, yeah, it's, it's all bronze. You're like, yeah, I'm always walking around yeah. looking to see what statue I'm taking down. I'm like, is that a fucking gray is that outfit Confederate or, or blue? blue? Yeah, yeah. If it's blue, they freed slaves. It's true, <laughs> they abolished slavery by you know risking their own lives. Yeah, 
So that's kind of honorable. Yeah. But, you know, some good please. boys out there. So anyway. Uh, so that's why they... they uh, so they were a little confident. This was their first invasion into the North. And uh, they... they the North set up a defensive position. Yeah. Along this ridge. They were in like the shape of a J. Nice. All right. So now they're shaped <laughs> like a fish hook, like a J on this like ridge. And the South was coming in trying mm-hmm. to attack. And uh, Longstreet, his new right hand man, was like, dude, we're, we're killing them. All we have to do is be defensive. Let's retreat and set up on like a mountain and tell yeah. them to come fucking get us. And Lee was feeling himself and was like, we can do it. This will be the, this will be we're the true turning point. We're going to fuck them up. And uh, yeah, how they many, tried. Dude? How many fell? Oh, uh, man, you're talking probably twenty thousand people. Damn. in three days. Damn, you're missing my f- my favorite part of the story, which is uh, when Warren goes up. Oh, Warren, yeah, Warren, 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 Warren goes to check out little Round Top and Big Round Top. Right, he's so, like, he's yeah. like, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna see what our forces are looking like up there. <laughs> yeah. So to set this up, the J. Yeah. At the bottom of the J. So if if the J was upright, it'd be the t- so the fish hook at the top of the fish hook, not the point. Gotcha. Uh, that's the left flank. Okay. And it's it's unguarded. It's the top of a mountain, or like a very small hill. Sure. And, uh, yeah, the general sends this guy up, General Warren, to go check it out. And he gets up to the top, and, like, the whole southern army's on the other side. <laughs> and he's like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, shit, shit. And he had to, like, signal down with, like, a flag, like, get the fuck up here. They're down here. Yeah, they're about to fuck it's us great. up. It's great yeah, imagining yeah. a dude walking up the hill, like, and uh, let's see what. Holy fuck! Yeah, <laughs> they're yeah. here to kill us. Oh yeah, they were like they were like coming up, and then uh, and then the South got fucked too because they they were looking at Big and Little Round Top and be like, yes, there's nobody oh, yeah, up there's there, no one here. It overlooks the whole battlefield. If yeah. we take this hill, it's over. Yeah, the North rushed like ten thousand dudes <laughs> up the other side of the mountain and just were standing up there waiting for them. So the Alabamians came up. Yep. <laughs> Roll damn time. Come on. Woo. We got slaves still. Woo. Dude, and got then the Rochester up, racers came Imagine in. Imagine they won. The, oh, so yeah. Money, we can keep close. our slaves. We so won. the casualties, I said, was 20,000. That was just the Union. I'm going with like 24 was for the Union. 36. 28. 28 for the, 28 for the Confederates. So Now, damn. this is casualties. But we have more people, so. Casualties. Uh, not de- deaths. Not deaths. Yeah, that's like a dude down. Yeah. I'm but, sure a lot of those turn into deaths. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wounded. If you were wounded yeah. in the Civil War, you fucking die. They just got to cut it off. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, oh, you got or hit you in just, the leg? You know, or you got diarrhea, which is, I uh, I think more people die to that. Yeah. Imagine being bullets. a dude who yeah, shot yeah. the general. You have like a, you're just on a farm just staring at fucking corn your whole life, and you're like, you go to a war and shoot the general, and then you lose. It's like the most like <laughs> pointless, senseless fucking existence <laughs> you can think of. Yeah, man. What Maybe a loser. He, hit, he used yeah. to hit his wife, and he's like, I guess I'll go yeah, to the war. He's like, shot the general and went home, like, oh, my slaves are like, gone. How was, like, your, how was your, how was your, how was the war? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's like, damn, you must have seen just... some shit. It's like, not really, I was a guard. It's fucked up. <laughs> Five <laughs> years fucked of up. your life. Yeah, yeah it, was just, it was all kind of a blur. Kind of a blur, uh. except one night, <laughs> where I killed Stonewall Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> shot him in the fucking... <laughs> Imagine if he could have been the guy who'd be like, nah, Lee, for real, like, let's not do this. He He would have probably not. He was also a firm believer that, like, God had his... True. That's why he was stoned. He just stood in the middle of, like, artillery fire being like, well, if, if it's my time to die, it's my time to die. God that, that wills it. That was the fall of Magellan. Oh, when Magellan he got, hit, he got like, hit with sticks? Magellan, yep, Magellan <laughs> the Explorer. He, like, had a dude with him. He was like, we'll show them that our God's the best. There's 300 of them and 30 of us. Yeah. Let's show them what Christians do. And, like, yeah. everyone deserted. He just died. He got hit so with, then, like, blocks. His slave was the one who actually circumnavigated the globe. Uh, Magellan died before fully circumnavigating. Really, the yeah. only guy left. Well, was his you know, slave his slave did. was just on the boat. True, he had enough, <laughs> I mean, se- he had enough sense to be like, Yo, the slave I'm... and like probably a rat from where they took off <laughs> <laughs> circumnavigated it. He had enough sense to be like, yeah, I'm gonna sit this battle out, dude. That's great. I remember as a kid, I had a, I had a computer game about explorers where you would like click it and it would just mm-hmm. it wasn't even a game it would just click it and it'd show you and magellan's was like him running on a beach with people throwing shit at him it was yeah. great it was great i even remember as a kid being like <laughs> what a fucking asshole yeah he went down hard but uh there was also some pretty wild there was some cool ones fuck i forget the guy's name there was a, a young kid out of west point so we what's cool is you go to cushing or something you go to yeah kushner so. Cush, not Cush, Cush. Jared Cush, not Jared, <laughs> Jared Cush. Cush. You go to uh, you can go to Pickett's Charge. You can see what's the high water mark of the South, like the furthest they push north. Fuck. It's fucking awesome, really. Yeah, yeah you can see it because they broke through the line right there, 
and there's like a monument right there where it's like this is as far as these fucking retards got. It's like yeah. hell yeah. There's no Waffle Houses above there's this no line. Wa- <laughs> this is the Waffle House line, dude. They, <laughs> <laughs> they uh, but then there's this monument to this dude who was like holding the artillery. So they mm-hmm. had artillery set out, and there was an hour and a half bombardment from the south to like loosen up the lines before they charged. Pickett's charge. Yeah, yeah. And this guy started with like six batteries. He was down to one cannon. Everybody got killed. He got shot like in the chest and the groin, it said. So he probably got shot in the dick. Yeah, yeah. Probably took a bullet to the dick. Yeah. Yeah. And while they were charging, he was getting held up by another officer. And he was like leaning on a cannon and fired one more canister shot. And then took a bullet in the mouth. Oh, That's how he died. Mouth open. (laughs) Imagine if like a musket ball bounced and then hit you in the nuts. (laughs) Just the fucking stomach pain, dude. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, that guy took a... Armpit and groin shot. And then fire. I love that he fired one more shot, though. Yeah, Leaning yeah, against dude. a can and just like, faggots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If and you shot me in the dick, I would. Fuck you guys. Fucking <laughs> idiots. Just right in the mouth. And the oh. description of this dude was like, he looked like a woman, but I've never seen a finer fighter yeah, yeah, in my life. Yeah, yeah. It's like, he yeah. looked like a fucking schoolgirl, but boy, he was tough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he did. He was like 20. You see his picture. Yeah. So he was hot. He was Dudes a hot like, boy. We gonna yeah. want to fuck this guy. Ooh, that was another topic we got into. Right. How many of the how many of the boys do you think got after it in the Civil War? Yeah, we're talking about hazing. We're talking about West Point we went from hazing, oh, but then straight dude. to just how many boys do you? And then I told Chris his he would have raped. Chris would have yeah yeah in the camps. Chris would have been butt fucking. How many he'd sneak I How many of those I young would've. boys are getting raped? It's probably a lot, dude. Those drummer boys getting passed around. Yeah, no doubt. Ooh. Some POWs. Some POWs, Confederate POWs, some dumb, some dude. hot Southern boys. Mm, oh, you think you take them in and just fuck them? Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd get Probably. it. Probably. Yeah. I mean, dude, if people have gay sex in jail in the 1800s out in the woods, they were fucking boys. Yeah, we'd be all dehydrated and <laughs> <Definitely>. drunk. <laughs> Colonel <laughs> Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> Damn, that's his... something they don't talk about. Yeah, no, they don't. They don't. I bet. I bet there you can find some stuff about drummer boys getting it. I mean, if if a chick walked around the battlefield, she definitely got raped. Well, we were talking about how like tough those dudes. Must have been oh, those rapists. God. You're saying those yeah. are the toughest just, rapists ever. Oh, yeah, no, yeah but just, just overall tough dudes. Yeah, like you're in full cotton. Yeah, your whole uniform is long sleeve, long pants. This was in the beginning of July. It was yeah. like 90 degrees out, like yeah. 95 degrees. Oh, you definitely have a rash. And also, there's no water. No one, yeah. no one knows about hydration. Yeah, like, why are we sick? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, in you the Blood like Meridian. They talk about that. How it's like you get water every like two days. And you're like, <laughs> Thank God. Insane. Thank God. I'm not. Said dead. they have like a pinch of whiskey, and they're just standing there in the heat drinking whiskey. Like, I it's mean, it was, got, def- yeah, it was it constant be the headache. Worst. Constant. Yeah. I was like, then you pro- they're probably numb to it. They're probably maybe just so much pain all the time. Yeah, maybe they did like rape. thirst. Yeah, no, no I think they did. No, I, I'm, I'm, I think they were like, I think the hazing. I think they were doing fucking elephant walks and putting it, shit in each other's butts. I definitely, definitely. Someone got stuff in their butt for sure. Definitely. That, that's a thing that's been passed down. Kind yeah, of that's I mean, generation. The wrestling old. team in my high school did that. Yeah, but see, <laughs> right, I think that's right, more right. of a newer thing when it comes. No, of course, of course, forever. But I'm saying, like, we were talking about like West Point back then. Like, yeah. I'm sure there was some level of like yeah, we are gentlemen. True. No, like yeah, and it was oh, also we played a joke on Taft. You also <laughs> hell. Yeah, yeah. If you like, like touch another guy's butthole yeah. in the 1800s, you went to hell. Yeah. No, so. but that's always one of those like. Those double-sided things. It's like, you know, how the Taliban's all, like, strict about sex and stuff, but they fuck each other and little boys and, like, rape women and stuff. Dude, did you just True. compare the Union soldiers to the Taliban? I'm just saying Bro. that they, they purport to have a I certain... I took you to Gettysburg today. I tried to <laughs> knock, this, <laughs> knock this liberal junk out of your head. <laughs> also, my favorite part of the trip, favorite part of the trip was Chris looking out the window like a dog every monument we passed to see if old Connecticut made the list. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, boy, yeah. Connecticut was not, yeah. they didn't not send too a lot of, prevalent. They didn't send a lot yeah. of soldiers? Yeah, we, we... I think they did, but we just didn't find a one monument. Yeah, we went a couple yeah, not great. one. Yeah, we went a couple lines deep, and we saw one for Delaware. Delaware. So Connecticut was somewhere there. behind Delaware. Damn, dude. Which is not good. They kept the Connecticut boys in the back. Connecticut yeah. sweet, boys. The sweet boys. Sweet boys out. That's who they were fucking. Yeah. The PA, dude, boys. the Bucktail Brigade. They would just back. rotate the back and That's fuck the, the Connecticut boys. guys. The Bucktail really? Brigade, dude. Fire some shots, come back and plow some of those Connecticut boys. <laughs> <laughs> Get deep in those Connecticut guts. They should have a monument to all the Connecticut's yeah, that got raped. They do. It says, come, Connecticut. <laughs> 
That's what, that's what we would call it, dude. We'd jizz. Come in, Connecticut. We would jizz up in you. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't believe that. There's just a harem of fucking people from Connecticut. They'd be like, oh, I want that one. Yeah, you just pick them out. I'd see you and me would be sitting there. Oh, for sure. The 69th Brigade out of Philly. Pinch of whiskey, spit and tobacco. <laughs> You'd see old Christopher with his, you'd have like a feather in your cap. You'd be, you'd be all pomp. You'd be like, oh, Papa, I'm off to war now. <laughs> me and I, oh, dude, me and McCusker would scoop you up. Oh, like, Why don't you man. come over here, man? Come over here. We'll give you a little, you want a pinch of tobacco? I can like, see that. I've never tried such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, war is an adventure. Huh? <laughs> I've only sipped cognac before. <laughs> Just like that, oh, dude. Oh, my me God. And, me and McCusky would I can see that. If I, was, if, I was like a, if I was like a general back in the day, you would be a having little, a real Virginia Cavalier oh, Style oh, yeah. to a big be feather in you'd the cap. Custer. Yeah, yeah. You'd have a horse <laughs> in white gloves. <laughs> dressed like yeah, yeah, yeah. white gloves. You would. That's what Jeb Stewart dressed like. Jeb Stewart? Who's Jeb? Jeb Stewart. He was the southern, he was like the cavalry from the south. He was like okay. a guy, but he was real mm. fucking cocky with his outfit. Really? Yeah. Real, it'd be like, yeah. I'd have a real thin sword. You would. Saber, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, you'd have a rapier. Yeah, that's I, right. I don't know what I'd be. I'd just be a fat guy in a coat. I'd be a dirty, <laughs> I'd be a dirty be, dude with a dirty ass, dude. <laughs> I'd have a you, fucked up ass for sure. I think you and I would both be dirty ass yeah. <laughs> shitty dudes standing there. I mean, it was, they didn't have toilet paper back then. No. I'd that, be, everyone had a fucked up ass. They had like dude. a cloth that they just kept on them. I'd wipe be, their ass with? That's what handkerchiefs were for? Yeah. <laughs> I think you just kind of like. What the no, fuck? You use like acorns. Acorns. You use acorns. Use acorns. I thought. You don't use fucking acorns. That's what I heard. Yeah, like a, yeah, yeah. What? So plug it? <laughs> no, no, because it's like you can't use leaves because you might get like you know some type of thing. I you stick an acorn. Where to God? Not you don't stick an acorn. You just use the oh. the smooth. They edge probably of it took too. good dumps too. There's probably no half taken dumps back then. I bet there's a lot of sloppy dumps. Too. I, I think I think when oh, you they, dump they diarrhea because if you get to if you get to the end if you get to the end of a dump you don't got to wipe your ass that much. You know, like a dog doesn't have to wipe his ass. I think because they were probably squatting. If you're squatting in the woods, you're not taking half a dump of being like, "Oh, I'm just smearing yeah. away," like you know, the top of a turd. I dogs believe also they have cloth. Yeah, dogs also like have you like would keep and throw away, like we just like shit papers. Ugh. Dogs also have calloused buttholes. True, you know, it's same the same way that like their paws get hard, so they can just like run on anything. Yeah, it's like I'd have a hard after you shit now. without wiping for like years. <laughs> I've I've done this. My you ass shit still without wiping inflamed. for a long time. It just gets hard, it gets hard and calloused, and you just don't feel it. It's not like moist. They sold toilet paper. Really? Yeah. So they had to. They had, they had like there. yeah. That's good. Thank God. That sucks. Yeah. Though, like what the fuck like, do they do with it? Just boxes of little little boxes of paper. Probably buried it. They that was a, I mean that was a major problem. Burying shit paper. Was the giant armies just dumping everywhere, breaking down basement ceilings <laughs> everywhere. A bunch of Joan Gillises around there causing fucking headaches. <laughs> but yeah, they would shit like prison camps, just filled with dis- like cholera, like the worst diseases uh, you can get just because everyone's shitting everywhere. Yeah, I don't think they- everybody had diarrhea. Yeah. That's enough. Even to not even kill each other, if people had a conflict and like they all went into a shit like a field and started shitting, I'm like, all right, we gotta come up with <laughs> a gotta, fucking, There's guys, gotta be another way. We gotta come well, to the table and talk. <laughs> You're right, dude. You're it, exactly right. It took it took them a while. I think they. I, I, I think <laughs> that, it that wasn't was until good. like the 1900s they figured out like you how deep you had to dig a hole yeah, so yeah, that yeah. the bacteria couldn't really get out of it. Yeah, yeah like it was late. they like measured how far whatever thing in your shit would like go. Oh. Before it would die, and it was like four feet or something like that. Yeah, it's rough. Rough so you, times. Yeah. Wow, like, man. We're just talking civil war. That's disgusting. Yeah, this is good. Huh? This is the. That's just, civil if we war went down the south and started shitting war. everywhere, like, all right, knock it off. What the fuck you got to talk yeah, about? Yeah, war's over. <laughs> yeah, that's what Sherman did. He's like, I'm going to march to Atlanta. <laughs> Shit. Give hell, everywhere. dude. He just dumped the whole town. He just brought 30,000 dudes down with him. <laughs> I mean, dude, and they just shit that, in every town. That, that was part yeah. of it, though. That was part of it. Like, they'd light your town on fire, you come out, <laughs> just shit burning <laughs> buildings and big turds. You're like, what the fuck? What did we do? This sucks. Yeah, that, it, all the husbands were dead. There's turds everywhere. And you're like, what the fuck? And we just broke everything, and so they're they free in the blacks. God <laughs> damn it! What a bad year. <laughs> yeah, someone burnt my house down, took a shit on the porch. And... <laughs> oh my they, god! They both burned down New Orleans too, didn't they? They go all the way. Uh, Isn't there a battle of New Orleans? I think there might have been some se- a siege. Uh, what a siege? A siege. A siege of New a Orleans. Siege, but I could be wrong. Damn, dude. There's New a cool Orleans painting. was a big city. It was a cool painting. That was a very, but it was a, uh, that was like the Western theater of the Civil War where they, yeah. it was more like north of that, yeah, up the yeah. Mississippi where, the, where that's where, you that was proxy says, battles. that's where Grant started his fucking, got his start. He was where? out there in like Vicksburg, like along the Mississippi, he was fucking shit up. He was the, he was the guy winning. 
Yeah. He was the only guy they had that was winning. Damn. They brought him in. They're like, dude, come east. That's get my the, the fuck get the the <laughs> That's my favorite part of uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. When they're like, there's like a, a whole bunch of soldiers coming at them, and they they're all gray. So they like start like flipping their jackets around. And they're <laughs> yeah. like, oh yeah, Confederacy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then they get close, and they're just it's dusty dust. Union yeah, soldiers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh fuck, God, <laughs> damn it. Yeah. We were kidding. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Um, but yeah, we can't. I mean, we could talk teas. <laughs> we got, True. Some, yeah, got yeah. some tea talk in the chamber. There was some teas in the Civil War. There was a bunch of teas. Stop. Really? Yeah, women would dress like men and go fight. Oh. Yeah, till, like Joan of Arc. Until somebody found out, and then exactly what you'd think happened. Really? <laughs> I think a couple times, yeah. Really? I think the secret got out in camp. Ooh, and they instantly found mo- multiple boyfriends? They instantly had too many boyfriends. <laughs> really? Yeah, they had one too many, right? That's away. what happened, though? They were like. I think that happened a couple times. So it was like Mulan. A couple of Mulans came. There was a bunch of Mulans. Because back then, dude. Let's get down to 1860. business. Yeah, it's like you could, you could, the women look like dudes. True. For sure. Oh, the hard hands yeah. and shit. Ugh. Sun withered faces. Ew. Ugh. Flat chested fucking bitch. Ugh. And then you're in your tent. You're like, hey, <laughs> Marty, how come I've never seen you take off your slacks? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else has their slacks off, Marty. Now I'm yeah. willing to keep a secret. Yeah, but keep a secret. oh, you got a pussy? Come here. <laughs> oh my god, I must. I'm been gonna insane. need that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you brought a pussy here? Okay. <laughs> I wonder if any of them were like turned on by like those epic dudes all around them, just seeing like I heroes. Think a lot of them just were constantly... not into dudes. <laughs> you don't think? If so? I had to guess, yeah. I would say those were the bullish of the bulldogs. <laughs> yeah. Those were the ultimate lesbians. Yeah, these were like hot young yeah. chicks being like, "Oh my god, this is like, look at him, he's so strong." It was like a bunch of rapinos. Yeah, yeah. Megan Rapino, is that it? Rapinoe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There's she's like ten of them. I mean, that was before around. we gave. She's femme. She's feminine. Is she? I think so. I mean, uh, she's a lesbian, but she's. This is before we had girl softball. That was the only it was. choice. The only no, thing they could do was join so the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> Go to war. <laughs> so we're like, no, 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 throw the ball underhanded. All weird. Yeah. You guys stay out of this business. You're not allowed. Yeah, it. yeah. Yeah, Double Day was there. The guy who invented baseball was hanging out. Was he really? Allegedly, Arthur Double Day. Yeah, he was. He was at the Civil War. He's nice. at Gettysburg. It's crazy. You see these people. You see these names on there. It's like, damn. He came and was like, all right, I got to I got to I'm going to get the fuck out of this. You're going to invent baseball. It's going to be sick. <laughs> Did he get paid off that? Yeah. Dude, I, t- I was down south. We pulled up to, uh, me and Brittany went out down. I was in Savannah, Georgia, outside of outside of Savannah. And uh, we pulled up to go eat. And these there's these two old ladies there. And literally, the one lady just like, we pulled, we parked in the spot. And there's like a glass window. that are like, eating, looking out of it. And they looked and went. <laughs> oh yeah, dude! Way. You told me that. That's it was hilarious. Shit. That's because we gave him what for at Gettysburg, dude. I know. That's I mean, what we how, fought for, dude. That's prancing dude. on him, dude. That's what we fought for. Fuck yeah. Interracial sniz. Definitely, dude. <laughs> that's what, dude. That was the call of the twentieth Maine when they fixed right. bayonets. They were like, "Fuck, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Down. Some dude had a vision like, of like, some dude had a vision of like <laughs> BBW porn. It was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I had a vision. Yeah, he woke up in the middle of the night, like, guys. <laughs> we got to do this on we this gotta... day. My life does not matter. Oh yeah, what matters Six is the speech. spirit. Oh, of the troops. Guy before the bayonet charge stood up on a rock, and they're like, "You got to get down. You're going to get shot." And he was like. My life doesn't fucking matter, dude. We got to get the boys fired up. And then he, a bullet, two bullets went through his intestines. And he died four days later. People get fired up. The boys got fired up yeah. and they fought like demons. They Damn. charged down that. Bro, this was the Rochester Racers. This <laughs> yeah, is the Rochester yeah, Racehorses. They don't, you don't understand. Yeah. The boys from Rochester just saw their, their man get his guts ripped out. They said, let's fix bayonets and let's charge. Some and this dude. is, Matt, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. This is 1863. Okay. We're two. Two years into the Prime war. Prime Civ War. Bro, there hasn't been one successful bayonet charge yet. If you're a bayonet charge, it is a desperate move. Things aren't looking good. I think you would oh, agree for, with that. Imagine I think how, you could oh, go ahead. I imagine, think you would agree with that. Imagine how girly those guys looked once they realized the bayonet charge didn't work. Like, ah, ah. Dude, like, yeah, trying to get out of the yeah. way from the bayonet. Uh, but then uh, this was it. This was the most successful. The the boys from Rochester charged down that hill, gave, the, gave those Alabamians what for. Yeah. And then you know who them. heard that? Old Joshua Chamberlain up there with the 20th Maine waiting. He said, boy, if they're charging, we're charging. Fix bayonets. Let's fucking get down there and fuck, fuck people up, dude. Yeah, they had fired so much that their guns were totally jammed. They couldn't yeah, get... They the couldn't, resin from yeah. the gunpowder was stuck in the barrel. They couldn't They couldn't even pump the fucking bullets in it. Anymore. I mean, it's a bad idea to be like, let's... Are these, these guys with guns, we're going to charge them with knives. Oh, yeah. It's literally... It hadn't worked yet in the Civil War. 
but once you charge. once you break the line, dude, it is like fuck. Once once a bunch of dudes coming downhill with like spears screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Takes a minute dude, to load those things. The bayonet? No, the fucking the. Oh powder yeah, shit. you had time to like watch a guy coming at you, like oh fuck, 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 yeah, fuck, fuck I hope fuck, I get it. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> the Alabamians too thought they were taking an empty hill. Yeah, these are the guys that were walking yeah. up on that empty hill. They, they were like, perfect. oh, it's empty. And then all of a sudden, the Rochester racers are coming down. Planet, <laughs> full, full, full full hill. downhill. Full tail. Now, but this is after several attacks. Is you it? Think, yeah. How many do you okay. think fell? Did you ever run fast down a hill and you're like, oh, Bro, fuck, I, going I, too I, fast? I would fall running right now. <laughs> if I had to sprint 20 yards, I would trip. Yeah. yeah. These guys were running down like a very rocky, very... You know, it's tons of trees. Fuck. Big boulders too. Like they, there's this was a pretty rocky hill. Yeah, yeah. Just sprinting straight down. We've lost it, dude. We've lost. We that. are soft. Yeah, I would be. We I would be going. I'd be. Fr- I'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna go get reinforcements. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. go, I would have been the be guy like, don't stand on that rock, dude. You're yeah, gonna get, get shot. The fuck yeah. down. What are you yeah. doing? <laughs> get the fuck down. Yeah, we've lost that man. We needed that back. I was even thinking that we were talking in the car. I was like, dude, imagine. Back then, they were like, the, the South had all the tough guys. All the North, they were all city boys. Yeah. It's like, dude, those city boys in 1863 must have been the rootness, tootness, <laughs> yeah. dirtiest motherfuckers Bad. on earth. Yeah. Well, you're talking yeah. about like the factory workers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they were like, fucking in tenements The and story shit. of the Civil yeah. War, like one of the overall like mm-hmm. themes is like the North had more people, but they weren't as good of soldiers. Like they weren't tough. The country boys were tough. It's like, dude, by today's standards, standards those are the toughest dudes Imaginable. Yeah. yeah, exactly. A yeah. fucking New York fucking factory worker in 18... A fucking dead S- rabbit. Yeah, some guy who just got in the hold Build of a, a ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Build yeah. a butcher. Yeah, some dude just fucking floated here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, floated yeah, here. Yeah, and yeah. Here, like, you're on the blue team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get up and defend that hill. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> here's a gun. Here's your jacket. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, we lost it. We need to get, we need to get back to more civic-minded. How about this? Now we're going to go watch the Fighting Irish. We saw yeah. us.